Okay, guys, this one is coming straight from my wife's request, okay? She's heard me talk about tennis for quite a while, and she's at about a 3.5, which is usually where most of my viewers' level is at, okay? And what she said is there is one advice that I've given her, okay, that has made a world of difference. So I'm going to give it to you guys as well, okay? You have to remember that because we are one-handed, okay, forehand hitters, okay, and that could be for the left side as well, most of us are one-handed, okay, we have more reach on the forehand side than we do on the backhand side. So the adjustment steps are slightly different on one side versus the other. Okay, on the forehand side, what you'll see me do is I do a lot of walking steps and I do a lot of hopping steps as well, okay? Because the range of adjustments that I have on this side is so much wider because I don't have to go across my body to go reach for my other shot, okay? So moving forward and making the adjustments moving in are fairly easy on the one arm hitting side, okay? On the two-handed side or on the back end one-handed side, Okay, you're going across your body, so obviously you're losing a little bit of range. Okay, you have your chest in your way, so it's very difficult to have the same reach. So the best step to work on this, and we're getting to it, okay, is the inside step. All right, that one allows you to move forward, keeps you balanced, so that you're able to retain the framing part of your shot. And what I mean by framing is when I hit my shot, Okay, my hips are framing the shot. Okay, so when I'm here, I have framed the point of contact so that when I strike, nothing goes wrong. Okay, and I should actually adjust my sweet spotter and put it here instead of here. Okay, so the same thing happens on this side. I am framing my shot with my hips. So let's say I'm hitting on a tennis court that this way, I would bring my hips, frame it, and make contact. So the inside step, one, two goes behind me, three pauses me, strike, okay? So that's what we're gonna work on now. We're gonna work on the inside step, making sure that I go up to the ball to make contact the way that I would like to do it. So the inside step on the backhand side is the equivalent of the walking step on the forehand side, okay? Let's go. Inside step, perfect, there we go. Inside step, perfect, again, inside step, Perfect. Again, inside step. There you go. Come on. Inside step. Beautiful. Inside step. And what you notice is as I'm working on my footwork, I'm working on the smoothness of my swing as well. Okay? Not the power yet. All right? Inside, direction change. Beautiful. Inside, direction change. There you go inside okay that was a bad one let's make a correction all right come on let's get that one over the net very good and last one very good okay so work on the inside step and your swing will also reflect your ability to penetrate the court be dominant keep bringing your hips towards the point of contact so that you can master striking the ball at your hip or above. Remember, perfect swing, always between your shoulder and your hip.